Kidney stones are hard deposits of minerals and salts that can form inside your kidneys and cause a lot of trouble. They are basically the result of having too much of certain substances in your urine, such as calcium, oxalate, uric acid, or cysteine. These substances can crystallize and stick together, forming small pebbles or larger rocks that can range from the size of a grain of sand to a golf ball. Normally, your urine contains enough fluid and chemicals to prevent these crystals from forming. But sometimes things can go wrong. For example, if you don't drink enough water, your urine can become more concentrated and acidic, creating the perfect environment for kidney stones to grow. Or if you have certain medical conditions or take certain medications or supplements that affect your urine composition, you might also be at higher risk of developing kidney stones. So how do you know if you have kidney stones? Well, the bad news is that kidney stones can be very painful and sometimes even dangerous. But the good news is that they usually have some early warning signs that can alert you to seek medical attention before it is too late. So in this video, we will reveal eight early warning signs of kidney stones you should never ignore. And at the end, we will give some tips to prevent kidney stones from forming at the first place. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, back or side pain below the ribs. This is the most common symptom of kidney stones. It usually starts as a dull ache that comes and goes but it can become sharp and severe as the stone moves along the urinary tract. The pain can radiate to the lower abdomen and groin, and it can change in intensity and location as the stone moves. Number two, constant urination. This is a sign that your bladder is irritated by the stone or by an infection. You might feel an urgent need to pee, even if you have just emptied your bladder. You might also pee more often than usual, but only in small amounts. Number three, pain during urination. This is another common symptom of kidney stones. It happens when the stone reaches the bladder or the urethra, which is the tube that carries urine out of the body. You might feel a burning sensation or a sharp pain when you try to pee. You might also have difficulty starting or stopping the urine flow. Number four, cloudy, pungent urine. This is a sign that there is an infection in your urinary tract which can happen when the stone blocks the urine flow and allows bacteria to grow. Your urine might look cloudy or murky, and it might have a foul or strong smell. You might also have fever, chills, nausea, or vomiting. Number five, pink, red, or brown urine. This is a sign that there is blood in your urine, which can happen when the stone scratches or irritates the lining of the urinary tract. The color of your urine can vary depending on how much blood there is and how long it has been in contact with the urine. Sometimes you might not see any visible blood, but a urine test can detect it. Before we continue, if you have been finding the video helpful so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Number six, unexplainable nausea and vomiting. This is a sign that your body is trying to cope with the pain and stress caused by the kidney stone. You might feel sick to your stomach or lose your appetite. You might also vomit because of the intense pain or because of an infection. Number seven, troubles with urine flow. This is a sign that the stone is blocking or partially blocking the urine flow. You might have difficulty starting or maintaining a steady stream of urine. You might also feel pressure or fullness in your bladder or lower abdomen. Number eight, fever and chills. This is a sign that you have a serious infection in your urinary tract, which can happen when the stone causes an obstruction or damages the tissue. You might have a high fever, above 38 degrees Celsius, chills, sweating, shivering, or shaking. So, these were the eight early warning signs of kidney stones. If you have any of these signs or symptoms, don't ignore them as kidney stones can cause serious complications if left untreated, such as kidney damage, sepsis, which is a life-threatening infection in the bloodstream, or hydronephrosis, which is swelling of the kidney due to urine buildup. You should see a doctor as soon as possible to get a proper diagnosis and treatment. Your doctor will ask you about your symptoms, medical history, and diet. 
You may also need to do some tests like blood tests and urine tests to confirm the diagnosis and determine the type and size of the stone. The treatment for kidney stones depends on their size, location, and composition. Some kidney stones can pass on their own with plenty of fluids and pain medication. Others may require medication to help them dissolve or break up into smaller pieces. And some may require surgery to break and remove them. Now let's talk about prevention. The first and most important tip is to drink enough water. Water helps dilute the substances in your urine that can form kidney stones. How much water should you drink? Well, it depends on your body weight, activity level, climate, and diet. But a general rule of thumb is to drink at least two liters of water per day. If you have a history of kidney stones, you may need to drink more. You can check the color of your urine to see if you are hydrated enough. It should be clear or pale yellow. If it is dark yellow or brown, you need to drink more water. Another tip is to limit your intake of animal protein, sodium, and oxalate. Animal protein, such as meat, eggs, and dairy products, can increase the amount of uric acid and calcium in your urine, which can promote kidney stone formation. Sodium or salt can also increase the amount of calcium in your urine. And finally, oxalate is a compound found in some foods, such as spinach, rhubarb, nuts, chocolate, and tea. It can bind with calcium in your urine and form calcium oxalate stones, which is the most common type of kidney stones. You don't have to avoid these foods completely, but you should eat them in moderation and balance them with foods that are low in oxalate and high in calcium. Yes, you heard that right. Calcium is actually good for preventing kidney stones as long as you get it from food sources and not supplements. Calcium from food can bind with oxalate in your intestines and prevent it from entering your urine. However, calcium supplements can increase the risk of kidney stones by raising the level of calcium in your urine without affecting the level of oxalate. So make sure to get enough calcium from foods like milk, yogurt, cheese, broccoli, kale, and almonds. One more tip is to drink some citrus juices, such as lemonade or orange juice. These juices contain citrate, which can stop crystals from turning into stones by making the urine less acidic and preventing the growth of bacteria that can cause infections. Studies have shown that drinking about half a liter of lemonade or orange juice per day can reduce the risk of kidney stones by up to 12%. However, be careful not to drink too much juice or add too much sugar, as this can increase your calorie intake and cause weight gain. So, these were some simple but effective ways to prevent kidney stones according to studies. Of course, if you have any symptoms or concerns about kidney stones, you should consult your doctor for diagnosis and treatment. Remember that prevention is better than cure, so drink plenty of water, eat a balanced diet, and enjoy some citrus juices every day. Now we want to hear from you. Did you have some of these symptoms before? Was it actually a kidney stone? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching. Thank you.